Fast moving targets live from Eurosonic Noorderslag in uh, Groningen. Two days uh, of uh, music meets stack, Buma music uh, meets stack. Another guest, hi, who are you and uh, what do you do? My name is uh, Bjorn Skipper, I'm an entertainment lawyer for about 15 years now. Uh, having my own law firm uh, with a focus on dance music especially and representing a lot of festivals, events on the one hand and on the other hand uh, representing artists and their bookers or managers. Yeah. People call you the lawyer of the night, so I am uh, informed. Yeah, I always say uh, nightlife lawyer. Yeah. Uh, we have in, in Amsterdam uh, a nightmare, uh, Mirik Milan, and uh, a few years ago uh, I met him uh, during a festival and uh, was explaining about my activities. And he said, uh, yeah, I'm a sort of nightlife lawyer and, and people remind that. Uh, yeah, and are you, are you yourself part of the, of the nightlife? Of course, uh, I'm 40 years old now, but uh, yeah, I grew up with electronic dance music and still every summer and also in winter in clubs, uh, I really love to yeah, hear the music and to feel the vibe uh, in clubs and during festivals. Yeah. Hey, uh, talking about uh, the nightlife, what are the specific uh, uh, legal uh, issues that are important in that world? Especially talking about electronic dance music, uh, there are a lot of uh, unreleased tracks uh, played during sets in clubs on festivals and it's an inter interesting topic uh, to see what the monitoring of the music uh, will do in the future. Uh, in the Netherlands we have a company called DJ Monitor uh, and they are monitoring the biggest festivals uh, in, in the Netherlands uh, since 2006. And yeah, like everybody is uh, uh, using the Shazam uh, cell phone uh, app for tagging the music, the future, one of the, the aspects for the future will be uh, how to uh, monitor music and how to monetize that. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I remember in the past it used to be the case that DJs didn't, hardly did get any money from the, the, the music that was played in clubs because there was the sort of, I always heard that Michael Jackson uh, did get uh, any, uh, everything anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so, so thanks to all the fingerprinting and uh, that sort of stuff, that is a lot better than it used to be, I yeah. assume. Yeah, yeah, in the past uh, you see the DJs uh, had to fill in uh, literally a form and what they, do, do, what they did was uh, filling in 20 tracks of their own. They didn't play the 20 tracks of their own, but they, they filled in uh, 20 yeah. tracks and then they earned money on their own tracks. But it's, yeah, to be honest, it's not fair, of course. And a lot of uh, young people make music uh, at their bedroom. So yeah, it, it will be a better and reasonable system for those young people if we have a, a monitor system. Yeah. yeah. Hey, and if I ask you, what are the, the, the most important sort of trends or trend that's happening in, in, in your field of expertise? What do you say then? Uh, well, yeah, we, what we see is uh, for the future, uh, the privacy, the use of personal data of people. If you go to a festival, if you buy a ticket, uh, once you, you bought a ticket, uh, yeah, you allow the event organizer to use uh, personal data. Uh, it's interesting for, uh, for a commercial purpose, of course, but also on the privacy aspect in a world in the internet, uh, privacy is, is nothing, everybody is saying. Yeah, uh, we see the same with, with festivals uh, at the moment. That's an interesting topic. Of course, uh, the way of uh, digital exploitation of your music, you can do it yourself. It's an, you don't need a label, uh, for instance, for just releasing your music. You can do it your own. Uh, it's still interesting. Okay, we have it since the uh, end of the 90s, but nowadays it's still a topic, uh, how to do it yourself and uh, what to do with your rights and how to earn money from it, etc. Yeah. And if I uh, 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 let, let talk a little bit about, uh, say, say, the privacy, is that to you, um, um, is, is that a concern as well? What do people do with my, my data? It cuts both ways. Uh, for festivals, for brands, etc., it's interesting uh, data. And also festivals could uh, improve their festivals next year, because if we had problems last year, based on certain data, you can say, okay, we're gonna change this and that. So next year, uh, we'll have a better festival. On the other hand, for people, uh, if you get uh, permanently uh, advertisings, etc., you, uh, yeah, you don't want to receive those or, or see those advertisings. Yeah, that, that's, that's an, an, uh, the bad thing about it. But yeah, it happens uh, in life. It's not only in the music, of course, but also in uh, when you go outside. Uh, yeah, spam, spam is everywhere. Yeah. 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 Hey, and uh, you, uh, the, the, the last subject you, you mentioned, uh, the do-it-yourself uh, stuff. And we, how uh, releasing is really easy, uh, but how easy is it to uh, to get paid and to get paid the right uh, amount of money uh, um, because you don't know where you are being played, for example, as, 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 a, as a do-it-yourself artist? 
I think we're back at the monitor point uh, we start with because uh, also on the internet, uh, yeah, if, you, if you, you're not a member with the CMO, with Bimus Stemra or Sino, whatever, and you do it yourself, it's hard to monitor everything. But there are some services who could help you uh, on the internet uh, to follow uh, your music and follow your money. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you, you mentioned DJ monitor. Is that is that one for for is, is that one that could he help a, a DJ or is that? Uh, at the moment, DJ monitor uh, especially focus on the on the on the, the bigger events and they monitor for the composers for, uh, for the authors of music. But I know there are some DJs, uh, some Dutch DJs carrying a, a sort of a little DJ monitor with them, uh, traveling uh, across the globe. Uh, just for uh, monitor themselves instead of waiting uh, for a national CMO uh, doing the monitor. Really? Uh, yeah, 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 they do. Yeah. Uh, and and what, um, how does it look like, uh, a monitor? Uh, it's a sort of little box, uh, a sort of ancient world. Uh, it sounds a bit strange in, in a modern world, but <laughs> it's a sort of little box, a suitcase. You bring uh, yourself and uh, uh, you, you connect it to the DJ booth and then uh, you get every six seconds a uh, sort of fingerprint from the music you played. Yeah. Hey, is that... Um, um, of course, a lot of DJs maybe just play complete tracks of others, but I know there are DJs that use three different uh, tracks to compose something completely new. Because I remember myself being really uh, disappointed going to the to the shop and buying a record, and I thought thought it was really dull because in this case, Dave Clark added two different tracks with it. Uh, how, how far is technology? Can they can they uh, say um, um, well recognize that as well? Yeah, yeah, you can see on, on, on a list based on the six seconds uh, fingerprint. It's a huge list and you see uh, different uh, layers. Uh, and you can see somebody played two or three tracks uh, together as a sort of new, uh, yeah, sort of new musical work. Yeah. But I wrote my thesis about that. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. DJ is an, is an artist like a painter or uh, one who's writing a book. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the same story. Same story. Uh, fascinating, isn't it? That yeah, that they, well, that we can uh, can do that with with um, technology how can technology help us more in the future uh, by using it uh, by not being afraid uh, for it uh, i think one of the problems is that uh, a lot of people have a sort of uh, a natural tendency to say oh it's new technology uh, be aware of that uh, but it's, it's it's also about chances not not only about threats it's, it's just about chances uh, thinking about the future, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, use technology and, 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 uh, as a test. Uh, and if the test is good, use it. Yeah. Hey, um, you um, uh, well speciali specialize in, in the nightlife, so is a lot of what you're doing uh, uh, legal stuff in the sense of a club uh, and, and the rules and regulations of, of a city as well? That's that sort of stuff? Is that what you do, do as well? Or, or a festival that needs to sort out? Uh, it, it's also part of my stuff, um, but I, I, I work also with extern, uh, external colleagues uh, just for the licenses for government. But it's more about drafting contracts, negotiations, cooperations between uh, promoters or uh, having license agreements abroad with, uh, let's say, a Mexican uh, promoter who wants to organize your festival, uh, those kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, uh, when, you, when you look at, uh, at, at the world around you, is there is there a part of the music industry that needs uh, disruption? Uh, I think disruption. Uh, every every day you need a sort of uh, natural disruption uh, because otherwise everybody's going to sleep uh, after a while. Uh, so still nowadays in, in all genres, uh, also for uh, the ones who are uh, running behind uh, or are running in front, uh, you need disruption to be sharp, to keep yourself sharp. Yeah. Yeah. How is your field of, of work? How, how are lawyers being uh, disrupted at the moment? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, of course, the, the world of lawyers is a very conservative uh, world uh, still. And yeah, there are a lot of chances for lawyers to be disruptive, uh, to try to change the system. Uh, Hey, and and uh, some people say a lot of the work of, uh, the, the, one of the things of the future is uh, automation. Uh, autom so so uh, a lot of work can be done uh, by computers or by robots or whatever it is. Uh, some say a lot of the legal work can be done as well. Do you, do you agree with that? Or? I agree with that. Uh, to a certain level, I think, let's say 70%, 75%. You can, you can make sort of automatic, you can draft contracts, standard contracts, uh, but the, the last 30, 25 percent is more about thinking uh, specific topics uh, relevant for the case. Uh, yeah. And a computer uh, couldn't do that. Uh. 
So, so you're, uh, you're, you're going for the 25%? Yes, I am the 25%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for being here. Uh, you, thanks for, uh, for watching now. We're doing interviews for two days, like I said. And if you watch this on demand via fastmovingtargets.nl or our YouTube channel, you know that there's a lot of interesting other material to see as well. Thanks a lot. Thank you.